Hello and welcome back to the Total Mix Effects Beginner's Guide. This week we talk about recording the internal effects. But before we start, as always, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel and that you also click on the notifications button to get all the future updates from this channel. There are two types of effects in Total Mix Effects. There are the channel insert effects, namely the EQ and dynamics, and there are the auxiliary effects, i.e. the reverb and the echo. Depending on the effects type, the recording process is different. To record the channel insert effects, all we have to do is go to the Fireface USB settings and activate the EQ plus Dynamics for Record option. To record the auxiliary effects, we need a little bit of Total Mix Effects routing magic. What Loopback does is send the signal of an hardware output back to the respective hardware input channel. So the signal flow is we are taking the input signal from the AS1 and send it to one of the channels that I don't use for normal recording. In this case, 8 at 1 and 2. I select 8 at 1 and 2 and by turning up the input channel fader in the submix mode, 8 at 1 and 2 is getting the dry signal from the AS1. To add now the wet signal, we go to the effects send, turn up the right amount of effects send, and as you can see, the effects unit is detecting an input signal. I activate the reverb, and now we have a wet signal that can be dialed in by going to the effects return. So ADAT channel one and two has now the processed sound from the AS1. When we now activate loopback, this processed signal is sent back to the input channel ADAT one and two. That shows up in my Ableton session as channels 15 and 16. So if I click now on record, I record the wet signal. This method is also applicable to software playback channels. So I can process sounds that have been recorded before. If I go to my Ableton section, you see that I have a pattern recorded. And if I now click on play, you see that software playback channel one, which I called Ableton, is receiving a signal from the DAW. And now, as before, I select 8 at 1 and 2, turn up the software playback channel to send the dry signal to 8 at 1 and 2, and I also turn up the effects send to send the software playback channel to the effects unit, and as before, the wet signal is sent to 8 at 1 and 2 and the loopback is already activated. So I go to another track in Ableton and select 15 and 16. We can record now not only the dry signal back into the session but also the wet signal. So we can process sounds within Total Mix effects very easily. I hope this was helpful. See you next time on the RME audio channel.